When you think of a hard video game, what do you think of? Maybe Dark Souls comes to mind, or even a game like Cuphead. I bet for most people, Crash Bandicoot wouldn't even make their list for one of the hardest games. And you'd be right. Sure, the older games had some challenge, but if you're playing casually, these are just fun platformers that last no more than maybe 5 to 10 hours. Crash Bandicoot 4, on the other hand, is pure, absolute torture. Now, if you're playing the game just casually, then it's a fun 5 to 10 hour experience like the other games, and probably the best Crash game ever made. But if you're a completionist going for the Platinum Trophy, be prepared for one of the most grueling video game experiences of your life. In this video, I decided to torture myself and went for the Platinum Trophy for Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. The first step to getting the Platinum Trophy is really easy. It's just play through the story and collect the story trophies along the way. Here was me at the beginning of this trophy challenge. Oh. Yo, this music's sick. I mean, how bad can this game really be? You know what I mean? How bad can this game really be? I mean, listen to the music, it's great. Ah, look at me. So young and naive and full of hope. I had no idea what was about to happen to me and the torture that I was about to go through. But before we get there, first, like I said, we had to beat the story. So that's what I did. All right, here we go. The very beginning of Crash Bandicoot 4. Did I make a mistake picking this game? I have no idea. We're going to find out. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, the first trophy, Channel Surfer. All right. Okay. I didn't even know that was a trophy. Taking the side road. Complete the bonus path. Invincible. Be a story level without dying. Altitude sickness. Crouch or slide to a double jump. Reality shattering proportions. Meet Lanny Lolly. Beat him with his own drum. Silent protagonist. Ladies first. Silence the scientists. Oh, I unlocked skins. All gussied up. Master mixologist. With the story-based trophies done, it was now time to clean up all the remaining miscellaneous trophies before we get into the really hard ones. Three of these trophies involve you playing through levels and then passing the controller to a friend sitting next to you back and forth, back and forth, and then beating that level. The problem is I don't have any friends, so I just pass the controller to myself, quote unquote, did these three levels and unlocked three trophies for doing this. There we go, Fleet of Feet. And this should be the trophy right here. No, it's my turn. There we go, settle the score. And now all I need to do is beat an enemy with a triple spin. Whoa. Pull off a triple spin. Whoa, crazy. All right, let's try to beat this guy with a triple spin. There we go, show off. So this trophy is pretty simple. All I have to do is just spin attack this tree right in front of me. Tree droppings. Okay, so right here, all I have to do is just spin attack these cannons and I get a trophy. Give them the broadside. So for this trophy, there's going to be six barrels that I'm going to have to hit throughout the level to make noise. And then it gives me a trophy for just hitting these barrels. It's so like, these are the first three. And here should be the last three. Boom, junkyard jams. So for this trophy, there's gonna be four golden gongs in this level that I have to hit. I'm gonna get a trophy. There's a lot of little trophies like this where it's just hit things throughout the level. So the first one's right here. Here is the second gong. All right, the third gong is right up here. There we go. And the last one should be right up ahead here. Boom, hammer home. Here we go, yeah, another level where I have to spin something to get a trophy. Here, kitty kitty. For this trophy, I just have to hit five of these purple bat signs throughout this level. That's the second one right there. All right, this should be the last sign I need here for a trophy. 
Okay, for this trophy, you have to grab all these berries that are going to appear on this rail. We're almost there. We are there. Whoa. All right, so yet again, the last like little miscellaneous trophy I need is just to spin this microphone and shut engine up. Boom. Megaphone it in. <laughs> all right. All the super easy trophies are done, and now it's time to hate my life. So, I'm really excited about this. And I was right. I was going to start hating my life. The first thing I had to do was collect all four colored gems that were hidden in four different levels. There's a red one, a yellow one, a green one, and a blue one. And I thought to myself, this shouldn't be too hard to collect these gems. I mean, how hard can it be? Turns out this is my very first taste of the difficulty that was about to happen to me. So for the first gem, the red gem, there's this little picture on the wall in one of the levels, and it shows you a pattern of these blocks you have to jump on. If you can jump on the blocks in the correct pattern, you unlock the red gem. The problem for me was this was the very beginning of my playthrough, so I still really sucked at this game. So I struggled at this very simple task of just jumping on these blocks in the correct order. Oh my god! No! <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. Alright, we can do this. No! Does that count? Oh my god, I have to survive too and get it. Yes! Yes! Ruby Red. Find the hidden red gem. Wow, that was embarrassing. Anyways, next up was the green gem. And this one was actually really Let's easy to the get. green gem here. I think I have to hit this trash can and then hit this trash can. Boom, right there. Green gem. Cool. Next up was the yellow gem. This was actually also pretty easy. I just had to do some pretty treacherous platforming to get to it. I just belly slammed into the water. So. <laughs> there we go. Color gem found. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Topaz pizzazz. Yellow gem. The last color gem, the blue gem, was the absolute nightmare gem. You have to beat this level without dying and without breaking any boxes. I mean, the, without dying part is hard enough and without breaking any boxes. I mean, they put boxes right in front of you. They're literally the beginning of the level. This was actually really, really hard and a little frustrating. All right, we could do this. No crates, my specialty. Oh, this part's gonna be a bitch. This is not going good. This is not going good. Okay. I just broke the crate. Oh no. 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 Oh. God, so difficult. Dude. Yes. Yes. 
Finally made it past that part. Oh my god. Then we can get this is a free checkpoint right here. Oh my god. This is the farthest I've ever been. So I just have to kill myself here. Don't want to destroy any boxes. But now I'll spawn right here. And I died immediately. Thank God for that checkpoint. I probably spent over an hour on this stupid level trying to get this stupid gem, but eventually this happened. Like right here, you just gotta go fast. Oh! Ah! Go! There it is! Yes! Oh my god, the Sapphire Choir. Oh. That was so... Oh man. That gem. Not destroying the boxes is like way harder than it seems. There's boxes everywhere. Oh my god. So yeah, getting that last blue gem was pretty difficult. Definitely a challenge. But it was nothing compared to what was about to happen to me after that. So the next trophy I needed to get was to go back into each level and get all the clear gems. For each level, there are six clear gems. Three of them you get for getting 80% of the Wumpa fruit in the game. One of them you get for breaking all of the boxes. The fifth one you get for dying no more than three times in the level. And the sixth one you get for finding the hidden gem. There's a hidden gem in each level in a different spot. So this trophy is called the King of Bling. And that was next on my list to get done. But I decided to combine that with the hardest trophy, in my opinion, in the game. And that trophy is called Perfectionist. The Perfectionist trophy requires you to get all the insanely perfect relics. What's an insanely perfect relic, you ask? Oh, nothing. It's just you have to beat the level, get all of the gems, and not die in one run. You gotta do everything I just said in one life. And if you die or mess up or miss a box even, you gotta start the level all over again. This is the reason that this game is a 9 out of 10 difficulty and takes over 100 hours for some people to complete. This, for me personally, was probably one of the hardest things I have ever done in a video game in my life. It was an absolute nightmare, but here's how it went. The first couple levels to get the insanely perfect relics weren't actually that bad. It was actually kind of fun to try to get all the boxes and not die. And I didn't even think I was going to be able to do the first level without dying. So for me to be able to do it, it showed that there was a very tiny, tiny light at the end of the tunnel. All right, there we go. My first insanely perfect relic so-called perfectionists earn any say insanely perfect relic we did my first one <laughs> and uh it was only the first level and it was really easy but it's gonna get really really hard insanely perfect relic number two oh. this is gonna get intense Oh, baby! Another insane clear. So yeah, like I said, the early levels, I was cruising. I was feeling good. I was getting insanely perfect. All was well. And then I started getting into the harder levels, and I started dying a lot. And I mean a lot. No! No! I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. I'm supposed to go, I'm supposed to jump left. I'm supposed to jump left. No. No way. Oh my god, I missed one box. No. 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 
there. I think we did it. I think it's done. I think the stupid bear. Oh my god. Thank god. You suck, you stupid bear. You suck. You suck. Stupid bear. Dude, seriously? Screw that bear. That level sucked. So obviously I can't show all the levels, but I went through every single level and died so many times or missed a box or whatever. But eventually I made it to level 35, the third to last level. This level is called Toxic Tunnels and this level kicked my ass. What makes this level so crazy is that it's one of the last levels of the game. So it's already hard by default. On top of that, do you remember all those colored gems we collected? Well, there's a special room called the Gauntlet that only opens up in this level when you have all four colored gems. And that Gauntlet takes you through four different crazy rooms full of things that can kill you. So you have to beat the level normally and do this Gauntlet all in one run without dying. This took me hours, literally hours. This is probably the level I spent the most time on in this playthrough. What am I doing, man? Why am I like so bad at this? You get all the way to the end just to die. It's like 13 minutes of your life just gone. As you can see, I was feeling pretty defeated. I was dying over and over again. I'm not even showing all the countless hours that I died. But then something started happening. I started to have a good run. I made it through all the colored rooms. Let's go. Let's freaking go right now. We're going, we're on one. We are actually on one. Yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. And now all of a sudden I was progressing farther than I've ever progressed before on the level. Actually huge, actually huge. Oh my God, am I actually gonna do it this time? I thought to myself. So I kept pushing forward and pushing forward and I climbed these stupid little swinging platforms, whatever they are. And then all of a sudden, all I needed to do was just get past these bats right here. And I was right at the end and then I was missing one box. No, 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 no. I'm missing a box. No, you've got to be kidding me. When you think of one of the most painful experiences of your life, what do you think of? For me, it was this night, late August, 2022 in the summer heat. And I just spent four hours on a level and finally made it to the end only to be missing one box. To say this hurt is a massive understatement, but still I had to push forward and I had to beat this level. I wasn't going to let it beat me down. Coming back baby with a vengeance. Oh, Jesus. Take the wheel. Please.
Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, I could cry. Oh my god. I have been working on that level for like, I don't even know, three to four hours. Just non-stop hammering it. And it's finally done. It's almost four in the morning. Oh my God. I can't believe it's over. I can literally, I, I seriously, I feel like this, I, it's not over with. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and start to play this level. Oh my God. All right, I'm going to bed. I got two more levels left, but I'm going to do them tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm going to bed. Jeez. All right, so after intense days of grinding all 38 levels, well, 37, I'm on the last level I need to get the insane perfect relic trophy. I cannot wait till this is over with. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. That's progress, progress. Oh my god, okay. Whew, I hate that part. I think I've done it. I think I've, I've done it. I've done it. Perfectionist. Earn all insanely perfect relics. Oh my God. Yes. That was the hardest trophy I've ever gone for in my life. And King of Bling. Earn all the clear gems. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it's over with. What a grind. <laughs> what a grind. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a grind indeed. I never want to do that ever again in my life. But that was pretty much the hardest trophy I had to get. There were still a couple other things I had to do, but I'm just going to breeze through them real quick because they're not really that exciting. One of the next things I needed to do was just go back through all the levels in inverted mode, which is basically like a flipped version of each level that has some weird graphical element to it. You just go back through all these levels in inverted mode and you have to get all the inverted gems. It's the same process as getting the regular clear gems, except now the level looks weird. So I did all that and got that trophy. And then I had to do all the platinum relics for the time trials. Now, time trials in themselves can be pretty difficult, but since I already spent hours and hours and hours working on the insanely perfect relics, I kind of already knew these levels inside and out. So basically time trials are just trial and error. The only thing that sucks about time trials is that you have to keep spamming square to spin really, really fast. And eventually doing this for hours and hours, like my hands literally would start hurting. <laughs> so other than that, this is really just trial and error. Some levels gave me some issues, but for the most part, I just grinded through it for the past couple days and I got all the platinum relics for the time trials and then got this trophy. After getting all the platinum relics for the time trials, it was really just going through these 21 secret bonus levels called flashback tapes. These were really simple side-scrolling levels. It only took me a day to go through all these levels. Once I complete all these levels and get all the crates, I got this trophy. And with all the flashback levels done, it was now time to get the platinum trophy. The only thing I needed to do to get the platinum trophy was to watch the two bonus endings you get for getting 100% completion 
and 106% completion. I watched those endings and I got the Platinum Trophy. Guys, this was one of the hardest Platinum Trophies I have ever gone for, but I would be lying if I didn't say it was actually kind of fun. I never have actually played a Crash Bandicoot game to try to get everything and complete it. And this was actually a fun way to play through Crash Bandicoot. Now, would I recommend doing this? No, never. Don't ever attempt this unless you're a masochist like I am. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't have at least a little bit of fun through all the pain, blood, sweat, and tears. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe for more platinum trophy hunting videos. And if you like this video, here's two more videos you can watch.